to Let's Play Lego Batman. This is the Phantom Safety Pin. Let's go jump around on the rooftops. Up on the rooftop, reindeer paws. Out jumps good old penguin claws. I don't know. So we have our satellite dish. We have all our parts necessary, but we're missing a diamond. Oh no! Where are we going to get a diamond this time of night? And of course, in comes Catwoman. Of course. Catsy can get us our diamond. Let's go get our diamond, Catsy. Now, uh, what about Catwoman and her, uh, her abilities? She's a double jump user. She also is able to use wall jump holes, and she can grapple as well, so she can use both pads. And she has a whip, which is rather pathetic, which you will see, well, shortly enough when we get to a combat segment, you'll see it. I promise. But, uh, really, using her whip in combat is just not that worth it. It's just, it doesn't really add anything to the game besides, oh yeah, you can use her whip, but... And it, really all it does is it gets the weapon out of your target's hand, and then it just basically brings the target running at you. It's really not, and you need to be pretty close to use it anyway. It's really not a very good ranged weapon, and if I use Catwoman, I usually prefer to use her as a double jump user. Uh, Catwoman actually has a couple variants. She has her uncostumed version. She has her Selina Kyle uncostumed version. She has this version, which as you can see, her outfit is a nod to Batman Returns. And she has the classic Catwoman. The purple classic Catwoman from many, many years ago. Uh, I would believe, I believe that's around the Golden Age when she was called, just called the Cat. She is one of Batman's first foes that he went up against, actually. Joker did not appear until Batman, I, I believe Batman number one, number one or two. Uh, and he originally started out as basically a spree killer with a dangerous grin, like just a weird looking face. He started out basically as a spree killing clown, though his appearance is caused by chemicals, as later told in Batman number 168. Yes, I memorize all these. Yes, I'm a tremendous comic book nerd. So what? I am a rock star. I've got my rock moves, and I don't need you. Anyway, we need cat one over here. There's something very special. Remember I said you can use these uh, wall jump poles? And that's important to know because up here, it's a canister! Hooray! And... It's, it, she, she doesn't really use any wall jump poles in, this, in her token level except for that one. So if you didn't know that Catwoman could use the uh, wall jump pole, then you would never have gotten that. Nice little quincunx of uh, buttons here. The patterns were used a couple times. I think they really liked that pattern of buttons. We get Penguin's fat ass over here. Get over here, you fat bastard. Hey, fat bastard. Fat bastard. Fat bastard. There you are. We're gonna go over here. And through the bumper shoot we go. Yay! Uh, breaking these doesn't do anything, it just gives you studs, but they're fun to break anyway. Go over here. We need two people up here, so we might as well uh, shoot these target reticules. I mean, they're there, let's shoot them. And that builds a grapple pad, which is something Cassie can use. Anyway. You know, I'm surprised the internets at this point have not created a Nyan Cat woman. Back when Nyan Cat was still a thing. I really am astonished that that has not happened. I mean, you would think they would have by then. But no. Yeah, there's showing off her whip. Quite a range on that whip, but really not that good of a tool. I'm, I'm not that big a fan of it. Anyway. Now that we've got everybody up here and all in one place, we can pull these levers and open this door. Oh, come on. If everybody cooperates, we can open the door anyway. And of course, there are yet more guys to fight. Helicopter pad. Foreshadowing, kitties. And that's a big tower we need to light up. Wait, where'd the guards go? Oh, wait, those weren't guards. Those are... Catwoman and Penguin. 
Guys, sometimes I don't have a very smart... Anyway, this is a Catwoman only zone. You might think there's something we'd grapple to up there. Nope. There is a box up here. A box with a lever in it. A lever that we can pull. I love how Catwoman pulls levers. She like uses her whole body. She actually acts like a cat. It's awesome. I, again, I really love like the different uh, methods of pulling levers and running around that they gave characters in this game. Like if you watch Catwoman walk, she has like a really slinky walk. Which she has the most girly slinky walk of any character in the whole game. Even of the female characters. Where normally all the female characters have that little bit of a sway. Catwoman has the most of it. Which makes sense. I mean, Catwoman, Slinky. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. Da -da -dance, dance, dance, da -da -dance, dance, dance. We need one more lever, actually. And, uh, because we, because this is building a system of two levers that we need two people to pull. And Penguin's just the guy to get that lever. Oh, we said that. <laughs> Catwoman, get out of the box! <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's not that uncommon. It is very common. You, it is very a very common glitch in this game to uh, brick your partner into boxes, to build your partner into containers. And we are now broadcasting PNGN Radio. I don't think it's a very popular radio station because the cops don't like it. Apparently, they were just listening to some tunes, man. You wrecked their, you wrecked their jams. You threw off their groove. Anyway, some guys to fight. I'm gonna turn to Catsy over here, and we're gonna gonna show off the whip. As you can see, uh, it really just grabs the uh, weapon user's weapon, and it does get your attacker's attention focused on you if they were a bit attacking uh, the other partner. Here, I'm just trying to get rid of this guy. I'm trying to get around him, but I don't want to get noticed by him. I'm trying to whip, but unfortunately, the whip button is the same as the action button. Gonna come down here. Ow! <coughs> See, very, very, very powerful gun. And yes, you get you get to sway, play as the uh, SWAT characters. You get to sway as the SWAT characters. <laughs> yeah, you also get to sway as them, but that's that's another story. Let's not even go there. I'm gonna run over here. There are yet more people to bash up and uh, take care of. Ow! Don't get by the rockets. Come here, rocket boy. Sing us a song. You're a piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Y'all got us feeling the something something, and you've got us feeling all right. We're all in the mood for a melody, and you've got us feeling all right. We're going to run over here. That blow-up box, we can't blow up because we don't have a blow-up user. We can't blow it up. We need somebody with a gun. Come here, pinkers. But we're going to go back here first. You might wonder, but Phantom, there's nothing back here. Oh, yes, there is. Hello, canister. <coughs> Fancy seeing you here. And now we can go shoot out the reticules. Uh, I just wanted to grab that canister first to show you there is that these canisters sometimes hide in very, very odd places. Like behind the rooftop of a building. And button number one. Button number two. There we go. Here's our grapple pad. Come on, Cassie. Yay! We're just about done, guys, I promise. Oh, these lasers gave me way too many problems when I play played this game the first time. Uh, you need to absolutely hit your next jump at the very top of your double jump. Or you will not make it over the lasers. You will get hurt. And yes, even if your pinky toe brushes those lasers, you will die. It's an insta-kill. They're insta-kill lasers. I can't stand these lasers. I do make over that just fine. I believe I show off what happens by mistake at some point, but... Now, I may wonder, why am I breaking this piano? Well, there's something in the piano. A Joker card! As you can tell by the uh, laughter there. Turn off these lasers. Unfortunately, that calls in a guard. Oh well, just one guard. Seriously, you'd think they'd send out more than just one guard for these things. I mean, who's just gonna be like running around the museum at night besides guards and janitors? But a person trying to rob a, the museum. Makes sense to me. And here we go. Now, uh, hey look, bones. 
<laughs> Don't snap your way to the bones, Cassie. Build the bones. And we are going to climb these bones. You know whose bones are on display here? Your bones. My bones. Bones, bones. Bones, bones, bones. Anyway, let's pull these levers. Come here. We have to build the rest of the skeleton, and the only way to do that, by the way, is to turn off those lasers. Which we do by pulling those levers. Oh no, it's a headless dinosaur! Oh wait, no it's not. I was being silly. Don't be silly, Phantom. There's no such thing as a headless dinosaur. Headless dinosaurs are all extinct. Anyway, climbing up this skeleton. It's a Legosaurus, a Brickosaurus. Very cute, developers. And, look at all these buttons. <laughs> Break that to uh, make the lever. Now you wonder why I'm doing this lever first? Well, because I want to get all the stuff built down here. It's just easier to get everything built down here first than before you uh, build anything else. We're just going to go from the left to the right here. Pull this lever. I can see the lasers just flickered a little bit. There are four uh, layers of lasers we need to disable. And we just disabled, just disabled, <laughs> we just disabled the first. Here's the next set of lasers. Laser level two. And now there are only two sets of lasers. It is possible to break those cameras, but I really wouldn't recommend it. They're not that important and they don't give you that many studs anyway. Just about everything in this game is breakable. <laughs> And if it's not breakable, it's buildable. And if it's not breakable or buildable, it's probably not intended to be anything but the background. And there we go. Off we go. I guess that's supposed to represent them uh, hacking into the security panels. I don't know what kind of hacking involves punching the security camera with handle the security panels with your fist. That doesn't seem like a terribly uh. A terribly efficient way to hack something, but I'm not a hacker. At least as far as you know. <laughs> Jewels! Anyway. We got the shiny, but it set off the alarm. Oh noes! We must run for it! And that completes the level. Nice little stud total. We got two mini kits. And we have a Joker card. Bruce Wayne's Joker card, no less. Wait, why did we get Bruce Wayne's Joker card out of that? Why not Catwoman? I guess because Catwoman is last level? Yeah. I guess so. I, I think that's right. Anyway, that's the end of the rooftop level. Next to that boat chase. I will see you then, guys.